Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. DE10 Nano FPGA board. And today what we're going to be doing is making a direct core comparison between the Sega CD or Mega CD to the Mr. Because the great thing about the Mr. is not only does it have a core for the Sega Genesis, but it also handles Sega CD and Mega CD games as well. So you're basically getting two consoles out of that entire core package. Before we get too far involved, if you do me a huge favor, down below hit like and subscribe and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined, we got a Patreon link down there as well if you want to support the channel. But having the Mr. Sega CD core included in the package is absolutely incredible because the Sega CD has a ton of great games on it that are definitely worth checking out. But taking a look at the Mega CD here, or the Sega Genesis CDX, depending on what region you're from, it's called something different. It is great to have the Mr. because you'll see here, I have a Japanese region disc in there. And while I do have devices that can bypass the region locking on the disc, with something like the Mr., we don't have to worry about that. So it actually makes it easier to play games from different regions compared to original hardware. Now, I always love original hardware. I collect it, but that is a really nice feature. And the good thing about this comparison is that it's going to be a really accurate comparison between the two because we're going to be using RGB out on the CDX and we have the analog RGB out available on the Mr. as well as the HDMI port. So as far as image quality is concerned, it's going to be really nice to look at the two. Now the one thing I do recommend if you're going to use this core here is get yourself a three button or six button USB pad that has the configuration of the Sega because having those three buttons in a row is how it was meant to be played originally and you're going to get a much better experience with this controller. The interesting thing about the Mr. Core though is that we have to deal with some BIOS files because we need to give the Mr. Core a BIOS file to be able to understand how the Mega CD or Sega CD functions. It's going to show up as Mega CD under the core. They don't call it Sega CD, but it is one and the same. And all you need to do is drag over whatever BIOS you want. Now there isn't a link below to the BIOS, but if you just Google Mr. Sega CD BIOS, you will find it. I use either the Wonder Mega region free BIOS or the Mega CD2 region free BIOS. Either one works, but you need to rename it to boot.rom. If you don't rename it, it will not work. If your installation of Windows gives you a warning not to change the file extension name, go ahead and change it. It's fine. And to add games to the core, all you do is drag over the games in a folder. They work as bin queues. You can have as many bins as you want. Um, Archive.org has a really good archive of all the Sega CD games that you'll see as long as we have the queue and the bins, we are 100% good to go. Just make sure you leave your games in the folders. If they're not folderized, they are not going to work. And if you want to use a particular boot ROM for a particular game, just change it to CD bios.rom with that underscore in there and whatever bios is in the folder is what the mr core will use to boot when you select that particular game i don't really use it that much but sometimes i do You'll see here now that we are into the main menu, I'm using the Mega CD2 BIOS on this one versus the Wonder Mega. I changed it at the last minute. They both work really well though. Just don't forget that when you do load up a disc or queue, you have to hit start or else the game just won't start. What I do here is cycle through the different regions. You can set it. I just leave it on auto. This seems to have the best compatibility across the board. I haven't found a game that won't boot with auto and this BIOS. And then you can have the backup RAM either be internal or internal plus a backup cartridge. Both are fine. But taking a look at a game here, Streets of Rage 2 with the intro, what I'm going to let you do is listen to the music as they cross over because the music in this game is so impactful. Now because I'm using a Japanese BIOS, it is in Japanese even though it's an English CD image. Both games are on there, but just listen to the music for a second, compare the two, and just get a sense of what it sounds like and I'll be right back. So I would say that both the Mr. and the original hardware sound near identical. You definitely get a little bit more of an analog buzz in the Sega CD just because of how the capacitors are set up in that board. But you'll see here what I want to do is show you this special move. What I really like to do when I compare these cores is make sure that they are frame to frame accurate. So right here you're seeing that special on the Mr. And we're going to move over and put them side by side. And if I match the frames from the start of the animation, you will see that the entire way through they are frame to frame accurate 
accurate with everything happening. That means at least for Streets of Rage, this is cycle accurate. Everything is exactly how you would expect it to be. And that's what we're going to want in something like a Mr. Core. We want it to be as good as original hardware. If it's not the same, then why would you play it over playing an original Sega CD game? At least that's my opinion. But the graphics look amazing. Everything is super clear. The colors are nice and vibrant. And now that we move over in just a second to the Sega CD version, you'll see that the color is a little bit more muted. It's that analog signal. And to me, I don't mind either or. Maybe I prefer the analog look ever so slightly, and that's because I grew up with it looking like that, but you're not going wrong with the Mr. Sega CD core. It still does look absolutely incredible, and those really poppy colors actually do a lot of favors for a game like this. Now, some games like Castlevania Bloodlines, which I'm not showing but checked out, maybe the colors are a little bit too intense. It's all subjective when it comes to color, but as far as how accurate the core is, it works absolutely incredible for everything I've thrown at it. And now we're going to take a look at Silphead, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's a very weird title, and I am showing you the intro on the Mister here. But in just a moment, I will directly cut to the Sega CD version, and you're going to see that outside of the colors being slightly different and the aspect ratio being a tiny bit different. That's just something that happens with the Frame Meister. They cut together perfectly, and I'm going to go ahead and put those intros up side by side again because this is an FMV video. This is not real-time graphics. We wanna make sure that not only does the gameplay end up being cycle accurate, but so does the FMV playback. And as the ship comes, docks in and moves down, in a second, you're going to see a door open up. I match the frames to when the crack appears in the door. And again, for FMV videos, this is also frame accurate. Everything happens at the exact same pacing you would expect it to compared to original hardware. So what we're finding, at least with these two games here, is that the Mr. Core is identical to original hardware. I cannot see any perceivable differences. Now going into the gameplay, this is a game where I actually like the little bit more vibrancy of the Mr. off the HDMI then I would say I like it off you know the actual original hardware with that analog signal and that's like I said going to be subjective how things sound how things look what color is the right color something that people still argue about today and you know with Nintendo cores what colors you'd want to use it's just a little bit dark on the analog RGB cord on my Sega CD, CDX, and it's just one of those things. This game I like more in HDMI, Streets of Rage I like more in analog. And I think that's what you're gonna find too. You're definitely gonna have different preferences between original hardware and the core, but that means the Mr. Core is so close, if not perfect, to the original hardware is that we're really trying to find a tiny minute differences to compare. And one of the best things to compare is the intro to Sonic CD. I'm gonna show you both, so listen closely, and I'll talk about it in a second. So which audio version is better? And it is going to be subjective to your ear, but what I can tell you is when I took the waveforms apart in DaVinci Resolve, there is slightly more information off the original Mega CD with that analog capture. The waveforms just have enough deviations to say that it is getting slightly more information than the Mr. off the HDMI. But to my ear, I can barely tell any bit of difference. And the Mr., if it's not doing it perfectly accurate, you're really not going to care. And again, Going to the Sega CD version here, this is another instance where the kind of vibrancy for the colors off the Mister looks just slightly better to my eye. And this is the great thing about this core, is that any difference I find whatsoever is just subjective as to what you might like. As far as the accuracy of how everything draws, animates, how they sync up frame to frame is perfect. 
And again, just showing you the intro here to this next sequence, everything comes in and off the screen at the exact same rate. And that just means that the Mr. Core is emulating this down to the frame. There is no lag in any direction. Everything's functioning exactly how you would expect. Obviously, I'm not pushing the buttons at the exact same rate, so there is a difference in gameplay, but those animation sequences at the beginning and the end of levels are perfect if you match them up together. So what I'm really finding with the Sega CD or Mega CD Core is it's 100% a functional alternative to using original hardware. If you don't have a Sega CD and you want to play Sega CD games and you have a mister, you're thinking about buying one and you want to check out these games, it's 100% a viable option. I will still continue to use my Mega CD primarily just because I enjoy original hardware but if my laser dies on this tomorrow I don't have to immediately go out and replace it because I can play things and the great thing is with regions, obviously the PlayStation disc will never play in a Sega CD, but again, here, I can play a Japanese region game without getting out more hardware, dealing with game genies, or modifying my console. It's a quicker way to play the same things. And something like Snatcher, obviously I showed the PlayStation version. I love the game, but I'm not buying a English copy for the Sega CD. It is multiple hundreds of dollars. But the fact that I can now play the English version on my Sega CD while owning it physically on the PlayStation means I've got a copy of Snatcher on my shelf, a game that I love, and I have an easy way to play it on the Sega CD without dropping hundreds upon hundreds of dollars for the physical disc. And that's definitely a improvement over the Sega CD. So really the review is, is the Mr. Core as good as original hardware? 100% absolutely. It might be a little bit brighter, the sound might be a little bit louder, but those are just subjective differences. You could put them side by side and it would be really hard to tell what you're playing on. Short of that, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I love chatting with you guys. We'll be back next week with another video in our Mr. Series and on videos on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday as well. But like I said, if you want to check out Sega CD, you don't own the hardware, you're thinking about picking up a Mr. and you might want to play some Sega CD games, it is 100% an excellent alternative original hardware and you can't go wrong. See you next time. Bye-bye.